One area I get a lot of questions on is between the drywall seam and your curdy board. Now, in this scenario, I actually kind of didn't, I either didn't level it right or I cut too much of the drywall out. So now I've got like an inch space in here. So it's pretty nice and easy with Schluter. I can just create a new piece. So let me just cut a sliver off of this. And I'm just gonna fill in that area because ultimately the way that you want to address this drywall seam is by putting a, a piece of curdy band going down. Now, a lot of times this curdy band will extend out past where your tile is going to be. And you can just basically drywall finish mud over top of this after you set your tile. That's what I normally do. It really makes sure that everything's waterproof with inside the shower and then just drywall mudding on the outside is not a real big deal. And plus, I'm gonna be using a Schluter edging on the tile. And a lot of times uh, that ends up being kind of having a gap between the drywall and the tile. So it's kind of nice to be able to drywall finish that so that you have a nice looking joint on that Schluter edge to the drywall. So don't be concerned too bad much if you have an issue like this where you have a gap. You can always just easily fill that in with some curdy board. So I'm just gonna basically apply this like drywall mud, filling in that groove between the drywall and the curdy membrane, or the curdy board I should say. 